What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally got to Slateport City. We're here. We're ready to go. We're ready to kick some butt and take some names. We're not going to do the whole visiting this and that thing. We're just going to get to the nitty-gritty because, yes, we got stuff to do. We got stuff to deliver since we are, uh... We're basically the delivery boy, the hero, the everything of this whole place right here. Now, hmm, there is there is one thing that I need to grab. I think there is an item close by right here. I kind of want to grab it. I could be wrong. And it should be right here? No. It's just the lighthouse. The sea is so vast. Could the sea have been made by tears shed by Pokemon? Or P? I don't know. Maybe? I, I, I don't know. So yeah, here we are in Slateport City. Now, we do have uh, a delivery for, what was his name? Captain Stern right here. So what we got to do is we're going to be going straight into his place. And as we enter, we're looking at somebody who's balding. And he's just like, hmm, if this goes here and that goes there, then where does this thing go? And what about this doohiggy? Ugh, I can't make heads or tails of this. And yes, we're going to be turning around. He's like, hmm, you know. Oh, sorry, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up designs for a ferry. Oh, those are the parts that you have those for department parts. Hmm, this won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably at the off at the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but could I ask you uh, to uh, can I ask you to find the captain and give him the parts to him? Sure, why not? Well, we're, we're good guys. We're really good guys. So, the next place we have to go to is into the Oceanic Museum, and I feel as though there's an item right here. God dang, there should be an item around here. Nah, just cranes. So, yeah, we have to go to uh, the Oceanic uh, place. Now, if you guys remember, there were a collection of Team Aqua members around here, but now that we did a little side quest right there, we're going to be going in here, and, uh, well... We still have to pay the fare. Holy crud. Excuse me, please go through the reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50 Poke Dollars. Would you like to enter? Sure, let's go right ahead and get those Poke, Poke Dollars. Enjoy the museum. So, first things first, if you talk to this guy, he's like, I didn't have the $50, so it took me, it took a long time to, uh, to, to pass the receptionist. Hmm, you don't say. You don't say. Now, I think if you talk to this guy, he's like, uh, bad stuff using my power. There's somebody right here. Yes, it's him. So if you talk to him, he's like, hey, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Here, take this. You, you, you have to forgive me. So, this is the individual we beat the living you-know-what out of a few times, and he's going to be giving you the TM46 Thief. Oh, darn it. You so screwed up our plans. I was going to steal something but to make up for it, but you just wait. You'll get yours one day. Not really. Okay, so we have to find Captain Stern. Let's go right ahead and find him. Look at us, the map of uh, the Hoenn region. It's a miniature diorama of the Hoenn region. Where is Little Root Town on this? Well, we should know. Now, we're looking for Captain Stern, and as you guys can see, he is right here. He's going to be like, hmm, yes. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from uh, Mr. Stone and, uh, Dev and Devon. Uh, thank you for bringing all the uh, the case all the way, or this way, I should say. Now we can prepare for the expedition at last. And, well, look what happens. <laughs> Hold up a minute. We'll be taking those. What w was that? Who are, those? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants our pots in it, or wants the parts in our case, so shut your yap and fork it over. Yeah, well, it looks like we have to take on some more. We have to take on some more uh, people right here. So here we have another Team Aqua battle, and the, yeah, we are going to be taking on a Carvana right here now. As you guys already know, Carvana is a dark type Pokemon, and that would be pretty messed up if we took on him right here, right now, at level, well, 13. Yeah, Gaia the Fierce Knight should be a little stronger. So let's go with Tommy JDF. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go. Alrighty, so here we go with an Astonish, or whatever the move it was. And that kind of messed us up just a little bit. So we're going to have to take one for the team. Let's go for a double kick attack right here. And there you go. Oh, wow. We get hit pretty hard right here. So double kick. 
There you go, and well, of course, the rough skin is going to mess us up just a little bit. But there goes Carvana. And just like that, we all get some experience points. Gaia the Fierce Knight grabs level 14 and is lear learning Lucky Chant. If you guys don't know, Lucky Chant is a it's an incantation toward the sky, preventing the opponent Pokemon from landing critical hits. Yes, we are going to not use that for right now because, well, yes, we're going to keep the old moves. We don't need any of that stuff right now. And yes, we have defeated a Team Aqua Grunt and he's not so happy right now. And he's going to be like, oh, I got beat by a little brat. Oh, man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. <laughs> Sniveling wimp. Stand back and watch me, the 27th strongest member of Team Aqua. Take care of this kid. Wow. He really does have himself ranked. That is uh, either a good or a bad thing. So here we are taking on a Team Aqua grunt. And look at him coming out with a, uh, a, 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 a Zubat. Okay, Zubat. I don't like you, you don't like me, my toxic Batman is better than you. So it's time to it's time for you to eat this confusion attack, and well, here comes a wing attack, and that right there just kind of messes up just a little bit, but here the confusion attack nearly defeats Zubat. So let's go one more time, and hopefully this doesn't make us faint, and wow, we got saved by one HP. Holy bucket. So there it is, guys. Zubat defeated. And, yes, we get a little bit more experience points. And here comes a Carvana. Yes, I am not going to risk that for right now because, well, hell no. And, you know what? Let's go with Olay. I haven't used this Pokemon in a while, so let's go right ahead and uh, use them. So here is Olay. And here comes Carvana. And, well, let's see. Let's go with the Razor Leaf attack. It will make me happy. And, well, we miss... So we're going to be taking a nice bite attack. And, well, let's go again. Razor Leaf. This will not be a physical attack. And just like that, Carvana has been defeated. Oh, yeah. And, well, Team Aqua Grunt, he's not so happy. He, he he really does not like me right now. So after defeating the two Team Aqua Grunts, he's like, he beat the 27th, uh, 27th strongest Grunt in the uh, Team Aqua. <laughs> now, what? If we, are, if we don't get that case, we're in for it. Ugh, I never thought we'd be stopped by some meddling kid. And look at this. Man, they made Archie pretty. Like, look at this guy. I really do like the remake of, of, the, of this right here. So as you guys can see, this is Archie. And he's like, what do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long just to steal a few parts. And I find you simps getting beat by this kid. <laughs> That's quite the fierce expression for such a wee little scamp. That face tells me a lot, or tells me that you're not just another mindless trainer brat. My name is Archie. The rough looking uh, lot you see here are members of my, of my team, Team Aqua. So tell me, boyo, do you have a Pokemon? Or what do you, uh, do you know that Pokemon people in all life is uh, in this world depend on the sea of life? Or for life, I should say. That's right. The sea is an irreplaceable treasure for every living uh, thing in this planet. But with our ex uh, selfish extravagance, humanity dirties that great uh, great ocean, destroying this, also, this source of all life. Day by day, we're all destroying our most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions well, maybe we'll end up getting uh, what we deserve. But what about the Pokemon in our world? The Pokemon uh, that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas. The Pokemon that won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow. We are creating a world in which innocent Pokemon suffer as a result of our actions. And that is something I can't forgive. Okay, Greta, calm down. That's why I came to, to a decision, see? The foolish actions of my fellow humans. The seas we have blighted. Nature itself. I will return everything to its unspoiled beginnings. <laughs> it's not like me to talk so much. Never mind, little scamp. I'll withdraw for now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again, and you won't walk away uh, unscathed next time. Remember that, at least. Bring it. Just bring it. Anywho, they are leaving, and, well, we just helped uh, Captain Stern right here. He's like, young man. Ah, Draven, isn't it? That was quite a, quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, yes. I almost forgot that you brought the parts from Devon. Yes, here it is. And, well, 
Captain Stern's like, this is it! I can't uh, be standing uh, around here. It's finally time for us to set out to our ocean uh, floor expedition. Thanks for this and excuse me. Okay, alrighty. So good old Draven saves the day yet again. And, uh, well, we got one more thing before we completely finish off this episode. And that is what happens once we leave uh, Slayport City. Now, if you guys don't remember, Slayport City is home to the Name Raider's house, which we can actually go to to change the nicknames. I think I have a Pokemon that I need to change the nickname for. No, not really. Uh, yes, the Pokemon fan club is right here. And, uh, well, there is one more thing. Now, before we leave, we gotta activate this whole thing. Look at that. Everybody's gathering around. Hey, this Liza or Lizia or whatever her name is and Ali are go doing a shoot over there. Are you serious? Lizia? Let's go. Okay, let's go and see what this is all about. Look at her. Look at her. She's just majestic with her, you know, her Alteria. Hi, everybody. Lizia here. Me and my Alteria, Ali, or Ali, have come to Slayport City's Contact Spectacular Hall for fun, uh, for the bit of fun. Ali Ali. Well then, watch me as I dive right into, right in again today. Yeah. Dazzling, dizzying, dual drums, defying. Try saying that 50 times. Anywho, she's doing her little pose and bam. Lizia's is, uh, Lizzie is miraculous contest scouting. Start. Lizia, scout me to be your next boyfriend. Oh man, look at that. He's like, he's really, really, really doing his thing. Alrighty, I'm going to bring another fantastic trainer into the world of, uh, into the wild world of contesting. Eeny, meeny, miny. She's looking around, she's looking around, and BAM! She looks at this stud muffin right here. Mm, 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 mm. You there, watching me with that baffled expression uh, of, on your face. Hi! Have you never joined in a contest? That's just what I want to hear. Yeah, I've, I've joined, but I, I'm not much of a hero, or not much of a... Yeah, I'm not much of a, a, a fan of it. Then let's get this show on the road. This is, this is the trainer that I'm going to scout today. And his name is... My name is Draven. Draven! When I took a good look, I could easily see that Draven is a powerful trainer with several badges on his own, own already. Draven! You can enjoy the contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Contest Hall right here. Now listen up, because I don't just want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I want you to, uh, I want you bringing uh, out the whole new brilliant side of, uh, of them uh, to show off. So here you go, take these. This is a contest pa pass, which is the first thing that anyone needs to take part in the contest spectacular. And this is the Pokeblock kit, which will let your Pokeblocks for your po will make you, or which will let you make Pokeblocks for your Pokemon out of berries. So there it is, guys. We get ourselves a few, you know, a few key items right here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And well, she's gonna be like, Draven's story begins today. Yep. And this chapter should be titled mm. "A Sudden Encounter: Miraculous Contest Scouting." That's what I call it. Now, everyone out, out there watching, you'd better expect great things from Draven because I do. That's it for today's Lizia's uh, Miraculous content, uh, Contest Scouting. See you all next time. And, well, everybody's clapping and, well, I hate to say it, but I'm not going to be, I'm, not, I'm really not going to be doing anything. And she's going to be like, if you feel up for it, try your hand in the contest for me, okay? Tee -hee. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Comment down below if you guys want me to do any of these contests, because if you guys do, then, well, I guess I have no other choice. Anywho, that was pretty much it for this episode, guys. Um, yes, a very brief one. But in the next episode, we're going to be going straight to Mauville. Hopefully, you know, unscathed or anything. We're going to be battling quite a few trainers and all that crud. But other than that, guys, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being uh, supportive, as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.